Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Sasha. I decided to jump on and do a quick video today. I'm sitting in my car and got to work a little early and I'm serving about to work realness right now with this hair. So uh, excuse me if I don't look all fabricated or whatnot, but I'm about to go chase this bag. So um, I am back working as a CNA right now and um, I had to get some things to put in my bag because things are a lot different than they were when I was working as a CNA over a year ago. And so I just wanted to share with you really quickly some things that I have in my bag. And I might uh, include some links. I got about 20 minutes before I have to be in the building. So I'll probably have to go back later and update and put some links in the description. So you can go straight to these products that I have. But um, So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. So the first thing I have, because um, while the vaccination is out and I have been vaccinated and I have to be tested every week, which I'm highly upset about that. Um, some people have chosen not to get it, including people that I work with and some residents have chosen not to get it. So we do have to still wear PPE, but what they provide is, is these circular masks that you use for painting. And I tried to wear that thing for like 10 minutes. My first day, it wasn't going to be a good night. So luckily, um, the guy that was orientating me on my floor had an extra mask on him and I decided to go ahead and get a pack myself. I actually had to get one from him because I had ordered them anyway and uh, Amazon was tripping. So, but finally, um, I got them. I got these right here. I have to put the little... I don't have to do that, do I? These are um, N95 mask. You see here, and I'll take one out. So, this is what they look like. Very small. Um, very breathable. I don't know why a lot of people feel the need to undo them and pull them down because I don't have a hard time at all. And I'm a very hot nature person. So they fit on your face like so. Um, the straps are very elastic. So you can tie. I tie mine in a knot because even though I've been vaccinated, I don't play about germs getting to me. So I still knot it on the side here and put it on my face. And you've got the... Um, the little nose piece that you bend down and they're very breathable so um i got some of those and they cost me about 13 dollars. they come 20 in a pack so you're doing full time you got five shifts in a week you're good for a month unless you give showers and you get hot or something like that and in that case you might need to put on another one um which i'm gonna give a shower today most people have been bed baths so i'm giving a shower today i'm gonna see how these work uh in the shower room when i do that Something else I got, because throughout this whole pandemic, I've had glasses, but now I have contacts, which is great, because um, I really had a hard time keeping my glasses in place while I was wearing the mask, even when I wasn't working. So I invested in these. These are visors there, um, which you can wear to also, um, because they make you wear a face shield. And a little bit about what's in the box. You can see here. These came 11. Y'all can't really see that, can you? I'm going to do something. Hold on. They came. Can y'all see that? 11 in a pack. Um, You got the shields at the bottom. I'll take everything out now. It came with a glass cleaner, which I don't even use this because, again, I'm really big on sterilizing a lot of stuff. So, I use flat out alcohol to clean mine every day they come with these glasses in the pack and what you do is when you take them out um there's two little holes on your shield I'll show you that in one minute there's two holes right here and what you do is you take your glasses out of the pack and there's a blue piece right here take those out snap them on the shield's going to come around like so and you got your glasses, the hook on, and you got your shield. There's film on both sides. What I do is just start ripping right there by the hole, and it'll peel right off. They're very convenient. These come 11 in a pack, and they ran me uh, $11. And one of my coworkers just asked me to order him some. He's old school. He doesn't have Amazon, so I ordered it for him. And he's got some coming on the way as well. So I'll put the link for that, too. Um and mine's already together, so I don't have to worry about putting together another one right now. So let's get to the good stuff, the other stuff I have in my bag. 
So me, little Miss Germaphobe, I invested in this big boy bottle of sanitizer. And when I was orientating with another lady, she kept saying, oh my God, that sanitizer, that sanitizer. So the other guy that I was training with walked up to me. He said, girl, what you drinking on? This plan, and I'm like, is it that strong? They said, yeah, it's just, it smells just like the sanitizer we had here. They quit using it because it smells so much like alcohol. So um, it's aloe vera and vitamin E, but uh, my coworker said it smells like Patron. So, um, yeah, I still have this because when I go on my lunch breaks, I use this strong stuff on my hands. I wash my hands before I go to lunch, but even in the break room, if I have to touch like the um, vending machines and stuff, I still be sanitizing my hands. But I don't use this as often because it is, um, it kills 99% of germs, but it has, it has 62% alcohol in it, but it dries my hands like nobody's business. So I don't use that unless um, when I'm going to go home or I'm going to go on my lunch break. What I did invest in, because my hands are so sensitive, is this. Dove Hand Sanitizer. It also kills 99%, and it's um, 61%. I use this. It's very good, and I carry this with me in one of my pockets. So I just give a little squirt, and gone about my business. It makes your hands very soft. Um the facility i'm at some of the rooms sometimes may be out of soap for the day because people wash their hands so much so i invested in dial antibacterial soap i carry that on me all the time what else do i have in this little old goodie bag and finally i can get a can of this now i use this to sterilize my carts um, before I do anything, I should have got a can of bleach spray. I thought they would have bleach wipes here, but the only people that have bleach wipes, bleach wipes are the nurse. So I invested in this to put in my bag, Lysol, to use as well. And I think that's pretty much, oh, and of course, to clean my face shield, I have gotten alcohol. These are all commodities that were not available over a year ago. And now they're everywhere as if the stuff ain't still going on. So that's uh, those are the basic things that I have in my bag. And it makes for a good shift. Um, like I said, I'm germaphobe. I don't play. I'm about to put some sanitizer on my hands now because I need to prepare my shield and stuff like that. So I can get in here and get these eight hours done. But... um. Yeah, invest in those things, and you should feel comfortable uh, investing that vaccination um, to be comfortable. I have both do doses of Moderna, and I am perfectly fine. Invest in that vaccine, too. That's, that's the number one thing. But anyway, I just wanted to share with y'all what I had in my bag, and I hope y'all are having a great, blessed, and humble Sunday. Um, if you have not subscribed to me, please do. If you have not hit the notification bell, please do. If you have not shared, please do. And join me next time for another video. Um, going to be doing a mix of different things. I keep saying that. But the reason why I keep saying that and I haven't done it, y'all, is because um, I got an idea in mind about what I want my background to look like. Um, I invested in my ring light. So once I get moved, and I don't get a lot of quiet time in my house. This is the most quiet time I get with a newborn, a teenager, and a seven-year-old that is very active. I, this is all the quiet time I get. And when I get into my different videos, I really want to be able to take the time and walk things out so I can give y'all excellent content. So, but in the meantime, yeah. This is what I'll be doing. So anyway, until next time, be blessed, be humble, be great. I will see y'all later.